So the first thing we got to do, guys, is again, let's plot our information, right? Let's not worry about what A, B, and C are. Let's plot our information. So the only thing we're given, we're given values of A and B, but we don't know the points of A and B. But we do are given the center, which is at 2, comma, negative 4. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. All right? Then it says we have a distance of a major axis and a minor axis. But is the major axis like this or like this? Is the minor axis vertical or horizontal? Right? We don't know. But they do give us a little bit more information than saying the minor axis is six units long and it's parallel to the x-axis. Well, remember, here's your x-axis, right? So therefore, if my minor axis is parallel, it's going to be like that. Now we need to figure out what is the distance of my uh, what is the distance um, from for my minor axis. Well, it says the minor axis is six units, and remember the distance of the minor axis is two b equals six, right? The distance of the minor axis is two b. The distance of the major axis is two a, which in this case equals ten. Now remember what we're concerned about. We're not concerned about what two a and what two b are. We're concerned about what a squared and b squared are, right? So let's solve for a and b. Now, we're not concerned on graphing them. But if you did want to graph them, remember the center is in the center. So you'd go three units to the right and three units to the left. And those would be your co-vertices. And then a would be five units up. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I'm sorry? Because it says the minor axis, right? The minor axis is parallel with the x intercept. So since it's parallel, we know that the minor axis is horizontal. That means the major axis is vertical. So again, unfortunately, we're going to be using the same formula that we used last, last problem. So it's x minus h squared plus y minus k squared. And then since my major axis is vertical, my b squared goes over my x, and my a squared goes over my y, and we set it equal to 1. Now we know what the center is, which is 2 comma negative 4, and we know our a and our b. So we'll plug them in. So x minus 2 squared plus y plus k, or plus 4, squared over b squared, which is 9, over a squared, which is 25, equals 1. And there you go.